Insert the vertical DPC into the channel in the host wall. Lay the DPC around the base in line with the external perimeter. Allowing for any out of plumb walls, place the base trays on top of the DPC in line with the perimeter of the base. The trays around the aperture can be joined with a supplied batten to assist with layout. Ensure base trays are level. Check criteria diagram versus paperwork, width, projection and diagonals. Using the punched holes as guides, pre-drill, ready for fixings. Apply two beads of sealant to the underside of each tray and position it in its original location. Fix the trays to the base work using appropriate fixings. Place the wall trays inside the base trays and against the host wall and membrane. Ensure the wall tray is plumb and secure to the host wall using appropriate fixings. Fit the half clips to the host wall side of the first panel. Seat the panel in the base tray, half clips toward the wall, and slide into position against the wall tray. Fit the next panel adjacent to the wall panel. Working from the base upwards, knock the clips onto the panels until fully engaged. Position and attach the corner post using the panel clips. Install the panels and corners following the supplied paperwork. Openings in the wall use aperture panels fixed to the main panels with steel clips. Fit the aperture panels. Fit the panel clips. Fit the aperture tray. Attach the aperture tray to the panel clips through the pre-punched holes using the GPHS fixings. Fit the aperture shelf and lower it into position until it rests on the top faces of the side aperture panels. Fit the temporary prop at the center of the aperture tray. Secure the panels with the short clips. With the panels clipped together, ensure the aperture tray is level. Fix the aperture tray to the panel clips through the pre-punched holes with the GPHS screws. After fitting the membrane, battens, and windows, install the aperture trims. Place the top tray on the wall panels. Ensuring the trays are level, fix them to the wall panel clips through the pre-punched holes. Apply the membrane to the top trays. Apply a bead of sealant around the perimeter at the eaves location. Locate and fix the eaves beam in position. If used, fit the lower section of the cornice to the eaves beam. Apply the membrane to the top trays. Before fitting the sill, apply a bead of sealant to the top of the membrane. Fit the sill. When using 70mm frames, the sill is placed 145mm from the internal steel datum. Apply a bead of sealant, place and fix the eaves beam. Place the ultra-roof beam on top of the panels, aligning the inside face to the clip. Secure the internal clip to the beam and walling panel using four GPHS fixings. To secure the external side of the beam, bend the bracket to 90 degrees and position it at the underside of the beam on the clips. Fix the bracket to the beam and the clips using the GPHS fixings.
Place the flat roof beam on top of the panels between the clips. With the beam in place, secure in position with two GPHS fixings at every clip. Secure the exterior of the beam with GPHS fixings.